talking about Marvel 80-year celebration of the uncanny X-Force, X-Men, Deadpool. Now here we have the case that it comes in, the Deadpool, the front. So if I flip it over, we get to see Deadpool's back and the uncanny X-Men, X-Force. And from Marvel, on the sides, it's just white. On the top, it has uncanny X-Men, X-Force. So let's get it on the scale and see how much it weighs. Okay, Deadpool is coming in at 5.8 ounces. So let's get him off the scale and out of this box. Hey, fellow collectors, today we'll be talking about Marvel 80-year celebration of the uncanny X-Force, X-Men, Deadpool. Now here we have the case that it comes in, the Deadpool, the front. So if I flip it over, we get to see Deadpool's back and the uncanny X-Men, X-Force. And from Marvel, on the sides, it's just white. On the top, it has uncanny X-Men, X-Force. So let's get it on the scale and see how much it weighs. Okay, Deadpool is coming in at 5.8 ounces. So let's get him off the scale and out of this box. Hey, open, damn it. Open. Okay, now that we have him out of both packages, here are his accessories. So he comes with a couple of weapons there. And he also has his katanas in the back here. Just pull them out. They are the same. Very cool. It does fit around. It's not really attached to his back, so it is on this belt. This Deadpool belt. Very nicely done. Now, I am very liking the blue and two different shades of blue. Here we have one on the shoulders and one in the main body. The same blue for his arms are used in his pouches here and his katanas. So it's not that far of a stretch to say you can use the different blues, even though it should be the same blue. But yeah, so this one's not that bad. I like the, the Deadpool, especially since it's going back to the original appearance of Deadpool from Rob Liefeld. And I'm definitely digging it since the movie just came out. So Deadpool can look down and up pretty good right and left without a problem he does a nice t-pose bicep swivel double bend in the elbows wrist on a peg hinge now he has the extra movement for the front as well as the back he does a pretty good crunch in the forward and back spin at the waist does a pretty good split forward and back has a thigh rotation double bend in the knee, ankle, and a boot swivel. Now the ankle's on a peg hinge, forward and back, side to side, with a peg hole. So yeah, this is a very cool, six and three quarter, and three eighths inches tall. Now one thing I did notice about these ankles, these little pieces here do fall down from time to time, so you might have to get them out of the way to get that ankle back into shape. But here he is next to the Deadpool that comes with the scooter. You can see how they stack up and how different the molds are for the Deadpools. So definitely a nice touch. And even if I bring in one of the other Deadpool molds that they reused over and over again, we can see here I have my Deadpool in his underoos. Well, of course, he has a He-Man sword. But, you know... You can see how they are different, and this one is really a different mold than the prior versions. Now, it could be using a body buck from another uh, figure, but it is definitely different for the Deadpool. So this one just came out, so remember, as always, to shop around, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.